What's going on shiny hunters? It's the shiny Oreo and in today's video We got to talk to Nintendo because you can't be releasing a treehouse at 2 o'clock in the afternoon As always if you guys are enjoying the content Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video. I upload daily, but with that being said, today we are going to be looking at the live Nintendo Treehouse for Legend of Zelda um, Age of Calamity. The issue with this is it came out yesterday, and by the time it came out, I got my last video uploaded and I had to go to work so I couldn't even do a video on it. So I'm already a day late on this. <sighs> Anyways, let's get into the video. Uh, playing as Urbosa right now, as you can see. And They're playing I as Urbosa first. The, uh, so right we finally and get to see some gameplay of Urbosa. Game, so you will be using X and Y for them to do a uh, weak and strong attack. And then also uh, A. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Mess, she almost uh, got right messed now, up. Uh, <laughs> there's a challenge under attack by Iga Clan. But I don't want to talk about why they're here. Uh, but the objective is I have to actually defeat all three Iga Blade Masters. In addition to the usual Hyrule Warriors action, I have to use uh, Rune. She has stasis her. too? And I can use, uh, I just use the stasis now. As you can so tell. any character can but, use stasis. Uh, each character can use all four uh, different runes in different occasions. So uh, I need to... Each character can use all four moves on different occasions. Duly noted. Focus on attacking him right now. So I'm going to let Kay and Kendra talk about what's unique about Uboda. Great. Thank you so much, Chico. Yeah, Urbosa's gameplay is really fun and exciting. And Bro, uh, as all you that can lightning see, she does? It's focused on her ability to use an attack with lightning. Um, Bro. She has a unique ability to charge up lightning, uh, which is represented by the gauge at the top of the screen. Um, and, yep, she's charging it right there. And once it's charged she up, can charge she can charge her weapon. Uh, use the lightning in addition to oh. her strong attacks to kind of strengthen Whoa. those attacks and do some really character specific stuff with it. Um, she also uses lightning in her uh, weak point Bro, the graphics on this is way attacks, better than the first um, Hyrule Warriors and the and way the gameplay if, works. If Chico can get the timing right after some of these big attacks where there's still some electricity lingering in the air, nice. she can um, charge up her electricity super quick um which takes a lot of skill yes. and a lot of timing but it's uh <laughs> very satisfying when you can pull it off <laughs> the amount of detail on this game is freaking okay, amazing so and, to, and, the and i just wanted to add too um aside from the gameplay that you're seeing well first of all Oh, wait, no, oh my I'm gosh. interrupting myself, because there's a Korok. There it is. It's so cute. <laughs> so clearly, those are in the screen. The pages that you can find. Ah! <laughs> um, but this is the first time that people get to play as Urboso, which is already super awesome. And this area probably looks pretty familiar to some Breath of the Wild fans. Yeah. Uh, and it's oh, cool yeah. to Town see these places. So mm -hmm, Pre-Calamity. Um, but what I did want to say is fans can look forward to um, getting more backstory on these characters as well. Um, you really get a good look at Urbosa's relationship to Zelda and also more information about Urbosa's relationship to Zelda's late mother. So um, if you're like me and you love to get to know the characters and get to know them in ways that you didn't get to in Breath of the Wild, this game is your opportunity to do that. Dang! Okay. That's right. It's it's really there's a lot to unpack in here and a lot to see and it's very thrilling for fans of Breath of the Wild to to be able to take a look a more in depth look at this time in the. Uh, in the Whoa! Oh, you right, finally get. And now we're taking a look at uh, Zelda's gameplay. 
which is also a first look. It's very exciting. Bro, I've been so interested um, in to see how see, Zelda she plays. uses the runes as her main attacks, uh, in addition to being able to use them uh, just like everyone else. And she can uh, create different combinations of runes to take out huge storms She's going to be a very strategical oh character. Wow. <laughs> in a very unique way. It's... <laughs> It's so cool to see Chico Zelda fashion. being able to take out these guys. Yeah, and for me, anytime Zelda gets to, you get to play as Oof. Zelda and annihilate enemies as Zelda, it's pretty much a win for me. It's pretty much a Zelda win for me, Zelda she game. says. Bro, is yeah. this her ultimate? Well, and she's really Holy fun to play crap! As well. <laughs> nice work. Nice work. Yeah, we don't need to see Link gameplay. Everybody knows what Link can do. Come on. She's great. I know Zelda is great, but yeah. Okay, so I have to chase after. Yes. Exactly. I have to chase after the Iga from people. So I'm gonna go after that to the location and. I guess my only question is, is why is there a lot less enemies after the Warriors series? Um, as you would think that enemies would run rampant after the calamity incident, right? But there's just so many more. Beforehand, you would think a hundred years after that incident, enemies would just take over and everything else, but that's not the case. Objective is to. I guess we'll get more backstory on that towards the end, too. So I think I need to do. Oh, I can't use it right now, but I will wait till my. Maybe Zelda put some type of spell to reduce it. I don't know. First, but... Make some noise, Chico. Okay, so I'm going to... yeah, do yeah, it. Do that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> These guys are well. This guy's really yeah. getting in your yeah. way. <laughs> So as you can see, uh, when you use the Sheikah runes, there is a little bit of a wait time for it to charge back up before you can use it again, um, which is very similar to how it worked in Breath of the Wild. Oh man, that was that was a gorgeous take that out That was right crazy, there. bro. And the, the reason so for using these loud attacks was to call forth a certain familiar uh, monster, wow. and there he is. Oh man. Oh. Sure it's not a lady, though? I think he's beautiful. So we're going to go back to uh, the world map with, and show some of the uh, gameplay uh, between battles. Um, leveling up characters, strengthening weapons, and unlocking things. Uh, there it no! is. No! Very. Bro! No, they didn't! They incorporated the actual map into this. You can actually go between battles. Oh my god. Bro, some of y'all may be like, what is so impressive about that? The fact that you can access the, the map that was in Breath of the Wild. And go in between battles with this map as well as those question marks. Those are probably like side battles or side quests. That means there is so much to this game. It's not just like the first Hyrule Warriors where you go through the story and that's that. Like there is so much detail in this. And that's not even including like any extras that they've added into the game that they haven't released yet. Or at least released to the public yet. Oh my god. Bro, we may just have to be a Zelda sh a Zelda channel once this game comes out if it's this good. Whew. Very familiar map of Hyrule. Chico, do you want to tell us? Oh, a look at bit the little about... three legged <laughs> up top. Yeah, so uh, if you look at the little three legged like up top. That's crazy. Or maybe different uh, Warriors game. 
you may be familiar with how the menu looked like. You will go from chapter one, two, three type thing. But this one, you actually uh, go through different chapters and uh, locations using the uh, map of Hyrule from the uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's crazy. And uh, when I first saw this, I was act literally screaming because it was so gorgeous. And I, I just got done screaming. And, I know. Uh, because it's a Hyrule Warrior game. <laughs> Uh, when you're playing the stages, you collect a lot of different type of materials. So do, using those materials, you can uh, unlock different locations on the map, like the stables, uh, at the training ground, and, uh, and even like, you know, different oh dishes. Oh my uh, you can god. Type thing. So one of the things I wanted to show is actually here, uh, Blacksmith. So it is a high warriors game, so you will be collecting a lot of different weapons while you are in the stage. Uh, not like Breath of the Wild, you don't, uh, the weapons do not break uh, during the stage, but you can use these uh, weapons you collected to strengthen your uh, primary use weapon. So, you know, okay. right now I'm using uh, this uh, sword, but there's other different type of weapons I can get and different you know, wait Where's my it. master sword? So I want to use uh, my sledgehammer. I wrote sledgehammer and, and uh, fuse them with all the materials I got so far. With the level and one I think soup I'm... ladle that you will not neglect. <laughs> 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 Don't you dare. Oh, okay. So I'm... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was worried. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, use it. Use okay. it. So Oh, yes, it's okay. You can use up to five different weapons and you can uh, strengthen. Mm -hmm. uh, you of course have to use the rupees, so make sure you collect the rupees when you are in the stage two. And now I have She my, used uh, the ladle! Leveled up to five. So I'm done. She got rid of the ladle. Um, another thing is the materials you collected, you can make the dish. So let's see this. No, one. she didn't. So spur fish dish. You can't get rid of the and ladle. You need the materials five fish so if you get rid of the ladle and you play this game you're not a legend of zelda fan no i love that dish so i can't earn you can't convince me otherwise fish you keep that ladle the whole game right and, and the recipe oh it's even got the sounds to, like uh, breath of the wild give too. your characters a little bit of a buff before you go into battle um and there are a bunch mm -hmm. of different types that have different effects so it's pretty fun to the buff lasts all battle that's cool Yep, they and, also and, uh, have by defeating um, the... oh, go make a monster. <laughs> yeah, so by defeating monsters and getting those materials, uh, you can also turn them into these other uh, quests, which you can use to unlock uh, bonus combos or extra health or uh, other such things. Um, but the thing I really like about these is that they have little stories um, that go along with them. Um, little glimpses into the characters' lives between battles during this war. Um, the one that we just did, for example, is about a, a young child in Hateno village who wants to build a monster dummy so that they can practice uh, using a two-handed sword. And so Link actually brings the materials to make Oh my god, can November 20th come any faster? And, and then they like, I'm together. excited for the Pokemon DLC, but this... Uh, for his this... Way exceeds the Pokemon DLC. Uh, so it's very cute glimpse. I got another life. video on that I'm covering tomorrow, by yeah, the way. the world building so, is really excellent in this game. More news and news comes out, and it's pushing my locks back more and more. We will get back to them, but we got to cover this news first. So uh, I'm going into the training mission where I can actually use this sledgehammer to showcase how the two-handed sword or two-handed weapon will work in this game. So I changed my weapon, and I guess I you can, can change my tire. Yeah. yeah, you can uh, uh, unlock different that. pieces of Oh armor my god, and no! And you can uh, equip or, I guess, unequip them uh, as <laughs> and dress them up however you want. They um, look nice! Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> this is uh, okay. and and also uh, training. Bro! <laughs> And we also, this is the that's insane that's not from the recipe you know, location, so I can use that right. And every character will react differently to the uh dishes that you cook for them. 
Um, and some characters even have favorite dishes um, and they'll say something different when you give them their favorite dish. So it's a lot of fun to try out a bunch of different recipes and see uh, which your characters prefer. Yeah, and if you watch the TGS uh, live stream, you might have seen the uh, cutscene where it's showing the tower actually raising from the ground. And that tower is actually going to be a base for Link uh, whenever he goes to the next mission. So I think you just saw him kind of like warping from the tower to that new location. Uh, Bro! Showcasing the 200 sword training mission. Right. Um, so yeah, it, it is the oh training. Oh my mission. god! <laughs> the detail hey! on this Don't game. <laughs> I mean, uh, Nintendo no did very well. good with this. Oh my god! Bro, the hammer might be my favorite. My favorite yeah, so weapon. As you can see, this is a training level, so you're fighting against a lot of Hyrulean soldiers, um, and using the two hands. I just want to know sword. if you can. Uh, which, if you can fight us uh, some enemies you know, aesthetically too, does look a lot like, like uh, how it was used in Breath of the Wild. Um, in this game, it's it's slower but more powerful than the one-handed sword. Um, but the uh, fun fun thing about it is that he can <laughs> he can uh, use the unique action to strengthen his strong attacks. Um, in exchange, he takes a little bit of temporary damage. Um, you can eat like during that. battle. And uh, in order to heal that temporary damage, what? You can press X ah. to uh, consume a meal in the middle of battle. <laughs> and, um, I, I love the animation yeah, for him eating. Yeah, let's yeah I love the animation go. for him eating. Let's, let's yeah, get near some she'll do it for us. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't want to focus on the enemies. Oh, no, not quite. Yes. Okay, so, but one of those I animations. Eat. Is highly aggressive, and if Chico doesn't hear some enemies, then we will see what happens, and hopefully <laughs> we'll get an opportunity to show you that because I love it. Nom nom nom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It is. Okay. Depending on what you eat, I gives you a certain buffs and health. Oh lord. I love that they included that in, in this game as part of the actual uh, fighting style for the two-handed sword. I think it's a great homage to Breath of the Wild and people who played it like I did, um, which is to say having a uh, The fact that they added so much to this like Breath of the Wild <laughs> is freaking so crazy. Down when I'm being blown I so wish I could have got this video out yesterday. Aggressively eat your apples and send those soldiers. Aggressively, eat, aggressively your eat your apples. The only way to eat apples in this game. <laughs> <laughs> if you uh, burn, all right. How uh, many apples, chaos do we have? Actually, get the grilled apple too. Oh yeah. So I have to kill right. all kinds of seventy more. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. We're more than halfway. I'd also like to point out that this location is very familiar. Um, it appeared as ruins in Breath of the Wild, but now, before the Calamity, it's After in the its time has reached its limit, so this is... <laughs> and, how much time? Uh, it's very cool to see Oh, okay, like so there's the time right there. I didn't even notice that. I was so busy paying attention to all yeah, the detail the of the fight was, um, some life, and life the fact that action. Link aggressively eats food. Yeah. And the buffs and everything. I didn't even realize before. this was a time limit mission. Yeah, yeah that one. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I can't wait. I'm done. I'm done. You can do it. So, as you can see, what, she's timing her attacks for when that weak point gauge comes out. Um, the big strategy against these stronger enemies is to uh, cut down that weak point gauge and create an opening so you can do... Uh, counter attack, which can be very powerful. Okay. Nice one. A little bit more. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I love the two handed sword so much. I think it's my favorite. It's so 
satisfying, you know. It you doesn't feel like you can slam defeat through all of as many enemies, enemies in this you know, one as you could in the first Hyrule Warriors, though. Like, it's a and lot more to, balanced. Like, take a I like it. Have a snack here and then. Like, by now in the first Hyrule Absolutely. Warriors, you could have a thousand, thousand five hundred enemies. I know your favorite is the... He's only at 349 out of 400. Oh, of course. I'm trying! Yeah, I suck at this thing! No, you what? don't. No, you don't. You're doing great. You're almost there. You need to find another one of those captains. Bam, yeah. done. Nice. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, yeah. Look. It's Daruk. He's my favorite. Bro, <laughs> she gets to fight Daruk? Let's go. Yeah. He moves surprisingly quickly for someone of his size, though, I have to say. Yeah. Oh, he went right through those bombs, too. Oh. Yo. You can do it, Chico. I believe in you. He's your own size. Oh my, oh my gosh. That looks like a little bit of rough play for training. <laughs> the ultimate <laughs> attack. Nice work. Ah, take nice that work. Wow. Man, you Jesus. did very quick work of Good job. Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right, let's cut away from oh. this for a second. We have one other thing we'd like to show you. Uh, All right, we're going to skip forward up, to more gameplay. I, I, I love Daruk stronger. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love it. I love that when you use the soup little, you got the pot lid as a shield too. All right. So totally. we're looking at input. Thank Excuse me. So what I want to show is in addition, but I need to take care of these guys first because these guys are in nice. my way. <laughs> so obviously this is a new um depiction of impa um that we're seeing here but chico is about to show us just what impa is capable of in the gameplay <laughs> i love her she love stunned her so everybody so much fun to play she's so quick and she has these different uh jutsu what? attacks that she uses like the summoning of the frog <laughs> And the, get, the creation of stone. You did. Let's that was an impressive go. use of the electric rod, I have to say. A Hinox? And oh. here we have a Hinox. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, as I was saying, Impa's gameplay, being able to absorb those those symbols to create the clones yeah. and then strengthen the strong. If you had a bow, she has all bow character. I wonder if Zelda could eventually uh, use a it's bow. It's really fun. It takes a lot like of she did in Breath of the Wild. Training. Nice. Or if you could switch to a bow with Link. And you can see her, uh... Like, her is that a playable defense. weapon for Link, the a bow? from the other characters we've looked at today, too. Okay. Oh. You can do it! Oh, so, we discussed earlier the uh, usage of runes in order to create openings to counter... Yeah, he's closing uh, his... and covering his enemies. eyes. You need to hit um, him with a bow. It's even more important that you do that when fighting these big... Uh, monsters too, because uh, if you get the timing right, she stasis oh, him in midair. You can create like these that. great dramatic uh, openings for yourself, and it really is vital that you get these weak point smashes in because they do so much damage, and it can really make it easy to, uh, or easier, I should say, to take these guys out. To take out the four Hinox that was just having a nap. This is later in the game, because look at the amount of, of health she has. Well, I mean, I would be grumpy too if I got woken up like that. That's fair. <laughs> nice. Yeah, these Hinoxes, are, they're not even bad people. They just got woken up on the wrong side of the bed. I love that flying squirrel move. <laughs> Nice. 
All right, I think that's all, right, all the time that's... we have left for today. Let's stop uh, beating up on this poor Hinox and let him go oh back. Oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed every bit of it. We uh, we got to see a little bit of gameplay from one of the champions. We uh, didn't get to see all the champions, though. Maybe they'll, they'll slowly release more tree houses so we can see more. But I'm going to get out of here. Have yourselves a fantastic day. If you enjoyed this... Let me know in the comment section down below. And I will definitely get back with you. But have yourselves a fantastic day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.